Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about triacylglycerol, which is also known as triglyceride or TAG. Triacylglycerol is a simple lipid. It is made up of fatty acid plus alcohol, and the alcohol present in TAG is glycerol. Let's take a look at structure of acylglycerols. When only one fatty acid is attached. to the glycerol backbone it is called as monoacyl glycerol when two fatty acids are attached to the glycerol backbone it is called as diacyl glycerol and when three fatty acids are attached to glycerol backbone it is called as triacyl glycerol triacyl glycerol are the esters of fatty acids with glycerol they are non polar and they are also known as neutral fats they serves as a energy storage this is the important form of energy storage and it is stored in the adipose tissue fats oils that are widely distributed in both plants and animal are chemically triacylglycerol the difference between fats and oils is only physical in the oils high proportion of unsaturated and short chain fatty acids are present while in fats which are solid in nature high proportion of saturated and long chain fatty acids are present oils have low melting point and fats have high melting point oils are generally of vegetable origin like sunflower oil soybean oil and fats are mainly of animal origin for example ghee a triacyl glycerol is called as simple triacyl glycerol when all the fatty acid attached to the glycerol backbone are same for example tripamitin and triastearin in case of mixed triacyl glycerol the first fatty acid can be saturated fatty acid the second fatty acid attached to glycerol backbone is mostly unsaturated fatty acid and the third fatty acid is either saturated or unsaturated fatty acid it is the mix of both saturated and unsaturated fatty acid and that's why it is called as mixed triacyl glycerol animal fats contain more saturated fatty acids and vegetable fats contain more unsaturated fatty acids the most important function of triacyl glycerol is storage of energy in adipose tissue now the important question is why fat that is tag has been chosen as a fuel reserve during evolution because we know that triacyl glycerol stores allow survival for several weeks while the carbohydrate form of energy storage that is glycogen it sustain physiological function for about 24 hours so why the nature has chosen this triacyl glycerol as a fuel reserve let's try to understand the answer of this question triacylglycerol is a form of energy storage in case of lipids and glycogen is a form of energy storage in case of carbohydrates triacylglycerol is stored in the adipose tissue and glycogen is stored in the liver tag is non polar and hydrophobic while glycogen is more polar tag is stored in anhydrous form it does not require water for its storage while glycogen requires water a gram of dry glycogen requires 2 grams of water for its storage and a gram of anhydrous fat stores more than 6 times as much energy as a gram of hydrated glycogen but the glycogen is a quick source of metabolic energy because of its water solubility it is a highly concentrated form of energy that is tag is highly concentrated it it produces 9 kilo calories per gram on oxidation while glycogen breakdown produce only 4 kilo calories per gram there are two main reasons for fat being the major fuel reserve of the body the first is that tag are highly concentrated form of energy producing 9 kilo calories per gram on oxidation as compared to carbohydrates which produces just 4 kilo calories per gram and this is because the fatty acids in tg are in reduced form and the second reason is that tag does not require water for its storage 
and glycogen requires water for its storage. One gram of glycogen requires two gram of water. And we know that in a healthy individual of 70 kg, about 15 kg triacylglycerol uh, are stored in the adipose tissue, which is equivalent to 1,35,000 kilocalorie. And glycogen storage is just 70 to 80 gram, which is equivalent to 280 kilocalories. Now imagine if this much of energy, like for example, 15 kg energy were to be stored as glycogen instead of fat, then it requires so much of water that the weight of person would increase by at least 55 kg. And this explains why fat has been chosen as a fuel reserve during evolution. Now let's talk about the properties of triacylglycerol and the first is hydrolysis. Triacylglycerol undergoes stepwise enzymatic hydrolysis to finally liberate free fatty acids and glycerol. And this process of hydrolysis is catalyzed by enzymes lipases. And this process is important for digestion of fat in the gastrointestinal tract and fat mobilization from the adipose tissue. Second property of triacylglycerol is saponification. It is the hydrolysis of triacylglycerol by alkali to produce glycerol and soaps. Soaps are cleansing agent due to their emulsifying action. Soaps of high molecular weight and high degree of unsaturation are germicides. Soaps molecule kills coronavirus by disrupting the fatty layer or pores surrounding the virus. Hydrogenation is the property of triacylglycerol. Hydrogenation of unsaturated fats in the presence of some catalyst is known as hardening. Liquid fats of plant origin are converted into solid fats by hydrogenation, for example, margarines and vegetable ghee. Peroxidation of lipids exposed to oxygen deteriorates food which is called as rancidity. The peroxidation also damages tissue in vivo. Rancidity is the unpleasant odor and taste which is developed by neutral fats upon aging. Lipid peroxidation is like a chain reaction which produces free radicals and further it causes peroxidation. Overheating and repeated heating of oil leads to lipid peroxidation and antioxidants like vitamin E, it prevents lipid peroxidation. That's why in vegetable oils, antioxidants like vitamin E are added. There are certain naturally occurring antioxidants like vitamin E, vitamin C, carotene and some food additives are also antioxidants like butylated hydroxyanisole that is BHA and butylated hydroxytoline like BHT. What are trans fatty acids? Trans fatty acids possess double bonds and they are formed during hydrogenation that is saturation of natural oils. These trans fatty acids are widely used in food industry like in fast food and ready to eat packaged food to increase the shelf life of various foods. These TFA are produced by fermentation in the rumen of dairy animals and that's why they are present in dairy products, present in meat. TFA are also produced during catalytic hydrogenation of vegetable oils to make margarine. And they are widely used in ready to eat packaged food. Trans fatty acids are lethal. They compete with essential fatty acids and hence aggravate essential fatty acid deficiency. They raise triacylglycerol level, low density lipoprotein level, and they lower HDL, that is high density level. It means that it increases bad cholesterol level and decreases good cholesterol level. TFA increases body's inflammatory response and long-term use may lead to increased risk of cardiovascular diseases.